Before we start this, I want it to be known that I do not shop at Sephora as much as my last couple videos has made it seem, okay? I don't have a problem. I have a slight problem, but not... I have a problem with, one, the service industry right now, like, lash checks, nail techs, hairstylists. We need to... We need a come to Jesus moment, okay? Yeah, you guys, this is a winner, winner, chicken dinner, okay? <laughs> Winner winner chicken dinner right here. What's up car crew and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Courtney Janine and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm doing yet another Sephora haul. Over the holidays, I've gotten a lot of things from Sephora. As I was doing like holiday shopping, I put stuff in the cart. So yeah, I just did, I did a little damage, okay? And I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. So today is going to be yet another Sephora haul. I have fragrance, I have some skincare, I have some makeup products. So I'm super excited to show you all everything that I got. Before we jump into today's video, if this is your first time seeing me here on the YT, hey girl, hey. My name is Courtney Janine. I do all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle on this channel. So if you want to see more of me and hauls, vlogs, everything under the sun, definitely subscribe and join the Corporate family down below. And I also have a hair channel. So if you're ever interested in, you know, the looks, the hair looks I'll be serving, definitely subscribe to my main channel, my hair channel called Courtney Janine. So that's my little disclaimer, but let's go ahead and jump into today's haul. All right, y'all, I'm going to split this haul into three different categories, skincare, makeup, and fragrance. We're going to start off with skincare because I have the least amount of items in this category. The first product is from The Ordinary. This is something that I wanted to pick up one because I have been going back and forth on if I want to continue getting lash extensions. I feel like I love the look of them, but I have like mixed feelings. Like I love the look of them and I love how they look I love I don't even have a problem with how they how long they last I have a problem with one the service industry right now like lash checks nail techs hairstylists we need to we need to come to Jesus moment okay so that's the biggest deteriorator for me and then also the price like it's 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 hiking up there okay why is lash extensions cost me as much as like what a wig install be costing low-key no so I really want to have really full and thick lashes like natural lashes so I picked up the ordinary 2x multi peptide lash and brow serum it's like a duo it was a I believe it was a holiday um, item but I wanted to pick this up one because I wanted to you know focus on my the strength and the healthiness of my lashes my natural lashes but also my brows too like I really want to start going to get my brows done as well I feel like that's like not as expensive but also I want to get like a tint maybe or something to them and I want them to always be like really thick so I got this duo from the ordinary I don't know how it works but we're gonna test it out the next thing is a rebuy this is something that I've been um, purchasing since college I feel like I've told this story before probably not on this channel but definitely on Courtney Janine and I basically went to Ulta that was one of my favorite pastimes in college was like me and my friends would go on the bus to get dropped off at Ulta we would go rack it up and one time we went to Ulta I love going to Ulta too because my friends didn't have like a um an account with Ulta so a lot of times they would use my account and so I'd be racking up the points y'all like I was a diamond member and I was like wait <laughs> but it was because they was helping me because now I really I don't be shopping at Ulta like that but um I have not been able to get back to diamond like what's going on anyways but one time we went and they were giving out free samples they were like oh free samples free samples so they gave me a free sample of the clearance double serum and it actually ended up that it wasn't a free sample it was one dollar but whatever you know so I tried that sample and after I was obsessed now then I looked up the price of this serum and I was like wait I cannot afford this like I was a college but ever since like I have gotten like my own money and been able to afford this I'll be pricking it up repurchasing 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 I feel like this is probably like my fifth bottle of this because sometimes it goes on sale at Ulta or um, Sephora whenever there's like those 21 days of Ulta or 21 days of beauty so I usually get like two during that time but I didn't pick it up this last time and so I picked it up from Sephora this is the Clarence double serum y'all this stuff is amazing let me show you guys the packaging um I usually get this like I said I usually get them like two times two at a time but this time I just got one this year next year I'm gonna be on it because I feel like I didn't get it during the 21 days of beauty because I wasn't really at the end of it 
but then I ran out. So this is what it looks like though. It is so good, you guys. I also have the eye, the eye cream from Clarins. Love both, but this is like my holy grail. I feel like with the eye cream, I don't feel like I need to repurchase it, but this is something that I never want to be without. So I had to re-up on this. All right, guys, so the next category is makeup. And I got a couple of things from this category. The first thing is something that I've been eyeing for a long time. This is the Refi Lip Sculpt in Sepia, Sepia. I have heard so many good things about this liner. I've heard so many good things from Aaliyah's face, Kyra Amini. I recently was watching like Naturally Sunny and she tried it out and she was like, it literally doesn't budge. So I have to try it. I am such a MAC chestnut girl. Or if you guys know about the Lip Lab, I also have really been loving the Modern Mocha lip liner from them. But I'm always a chocolate girl. Like I love a good chocolate liner. So I'm excited to test this out. I haven't been disappointed with Refi products. Now I haven't tried that many. I've tried the primer and I really love the primer. So um, I'm excited to see what I think about the lip liner. I feel like lip liners are like, how can you mess up a lip liner? But we'll see. The next two items are from Fenty Beauty. Now I was eyeing these shadow sticks for the longest ever since they launched. But I feel like they launched around the time where Fenty was having the friends and family sale. And also Sephora was having the 20% off for the holidays. But these were on sale. It was so weird. And so when Sephora did their most recent 20% off, they were on sale. So I picked up two. I got Bellini Bash and In Big Truffle. I am excited about these. One, because in 2024, I really am trying to master my makeup. Um, It's not that I hate my makeup, but I really want to do stuff differently. So I've been purchasing products. I really want to do a video about upgrade your makeup routine and we go shopping together. I really want to do that video. So let me know down below or give this video a big thumbs up if you'd be interested in seeing a shop with me video where I just buy new makeup. But these two items were something that I really wanted to add to my stash. I am not typically, and you could tell today, I'm not really an eyeshadow girly, especially when I have lash extensions. And so seeing these shadow sticks, how creamy they are, how easy they are to apply was really enticing for me. So I'm excited to try these out, give them a try, see if I like them. The Bellini Bash was super duper pretty. I like swatched them on the back of my hand. And M Big Truffle was not in stock. Like there wasn't a tester out. So I don't really know what this looks like, but I'm excited you guys. They're also very compact. So you can just throw them in your purse. But I really haven't been purchasing Fenty Beauty like that. So I'm excited to try some new makeup from them and see what I think. Okay, and the last item is from, I don't even know how you, is this INN Beauty Project? I don't know, but this is their Sips and Lips Duo. They did a collab with Poppy. Now, if you know anything about me, y'all, I love me some Poppy. I love me some Poppy. And I also love me a good lip oil. So this is two different lip oil duos. One is Raspberry Rosé. That is literally my favorite flavor of Poppy. And then they also have the Cranberry Fizz, which is their newest flavor for the holidays. I don't like that flavor. I don't like that flavor. But I also said the same thing about grape, but now I like grape. So maybe it just has to grow on me. I don't know. But I was so excited to see this. And it's so cute. It was perfect for the holidays. I feel like it was something for the holidays. Like a special limited edition lip oil duo. So I had to get it because I love Poppy. But yeah, you guys. I am excited to try this. I love lip oils. Love anything that can just like stay on my lips and nourish them. So excited about this. Alright you guys, in the last category is fragrance. I picked up three different fragrances and I am obsessed with every single one. So the first one is the newest scent from Kayali. This is Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. You guys, this perfume is everything. I've heard, honestly I haven't seen that many reviews, but a lot of people don't like it and I absolutely love it. Like I'm such a sweet girl. I've seen that people um, feel like it's too sweet, but for me it's so good you guys. I don't really know about lychee like I've had a lychee martini but I really don't know what it smells like so once I went in store to smell it I instantly fell in love and I think I really do like lychee I also think I am becoming more of a floral scent than I thought like a lot of this has rose in it um violet like some other elements in it it's not just fruity so I do think I like floral scents more than I think I really really love this fragrance and I loved it so much I was like oh my gosh this is what I'm gonna get my sister for Christmas and I picked it up for her as well so yeah you guys this is a winner winner chicken dinner okay 
winner winner chicken dinner right here okay and then i went I, like i said you guys you know i'm not a i'm not a blind buy fragrance person the only thing that i probably will blind buy is beyonce's perfume which i still haven't picked up yet because i'm scared i've seen so many mixed reviews but like i said i was in sephora you know just smelling this new fragrance from kaoli and i noticed that nest had a lychee rose perfume and I smelled it and instantly fell in love. Like, I was like, oh, I can't leave without this. So I also picked up this fragrance. And honestly, I haven't smelled it since I smelled it in the store. So let's see if I still like it. What if I don't? That'd be crazy, but I'm pretty sure I will. Okay. Uh, the bottle is so freaking, uh, it's gorgeous. This is what the bottle looks like. This is Lychee Rose from nest i remember smelling this and being like oh even though the kegali and this nest perfume have similar notes i remember being like no these smell nothing alike oh yeah this is so good i don't even know how to describe it because like i mentioned to you all i don't know what lychee smells like i mean i guess i like it because two new fragrances of mine smell like lychee but this smells like what is how does it like a vibrant combination of rose absolute and fresh lychee is accentuated with the sparkling essence of pink champagne and a hint of raspberry to create yes this effervescent fruity floral fragrance yes this smells so good it's very fresh it's very light i am soon which sounds crazy because before we just started 2024 so it's crazy to think about spring but this is definitely a spring scent a lot of these scents that i recently picked up even like this um sparkling lychee from kaoli they really give spring vibes oh this smells so good. And last but not least, I got a new fragrance from Skylar Clean Beauty. This is Peach Field. This, you guys, the notes are white peach, sandalwood. Again, a lot of the fruity scents are stuff that I typically go for during the spring. I know I mentioned in my last like fragrance video that I am someone who literally will wear a scent year round. But now that I've like expanded my scent profile, I feel like in the past I really have home in on the vanilla scents the warm cozy chocolate warm scents that now that i'm expanding into these fruits fruity scents floral scents i am really seeing that like okay in the winter i am picking more vanilla scents or marshmallow scents but in the spring i really can see myself diving into peach fields which is a fruity floral scent i really love lychee rose and kaoli's eden scent so sparkling lychee and also they have an eden apple which is amazing as well so yeah you guys i'm excited to pull together my list of fragrances for the spring which will be coming very soon so be on the lookout for it that is everything that i got from this recent sephora haul let me know if you all have tried any of the products that i talked about today i will have everything listed down below in case you are interested in picking them up yourself um but yeah you guys hope you enjoyed today's haul if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and join the core crew family down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys